Hey, kia ora. Hello, Brown's coming to you live from Escondido in California, where it has been a beautiful day today. We've been out and about, just around the RV park, nowhere special. We, um, let's see, went for our morning walk. We've had two walks so far today, still got another walk to go. Um, and I decided today that I was actually going to cook something for lunch today or dinner. Somewhere in between lunch and dinner, because I kind of forgot to have lunch and so then it was later in the afternoon so i figured i'll just have an early dinner so i went and turned the gas on it was fine there's over half a tank of gas left i came inside i took the lid off i lifted up the lid on the cooktop i turned the knob i clicked the little lighter thing it wouldn't light none of the elements would light and i was like so I had to open up the, the air vent above the cooktop to let the gas out. And I, you could hear the gas coming through. So there's gas coming through, but for some reason it's not lighting. So I'm wondering, but it's all three elements. None of them would light. So I'm wondering if um, what's happened before is there's these little wire thingies and I wonder if they've popped off again and they just plug back in. So um, I turned the gas back off again and um, tomorrow I'll pop open the top and see if those little things are still connected. But the um the clicker thing was clicking like crazy and the gas was going but nothing was going so i couldn't cook dinner i have the microwave but i don't like microwaving stuff i don't know it just tastes funny it tastes different hmm. and then the other thing we did is we went for our walk we went for our second walk today we walked down to the front office to extend our stay a week we were supposed to leave here on the 23rd um, but I actually have jury service next week, so um, I've extended it another week. Um, and then I am going to move to a different campground somewhere around either San Diego, LA area. Um, not exactly sure where, but it looks like my departure date for the East Coast, the start of that journey is going to be either the 3rd or the 4th of February. So... Um, getting closer to getting all of that organized and everything else um having to deal with all of the all of the um snowbirds all the campgrounds have snow, lots of snowbirds in there too so having to find so trying to get in between there um and then i was um i met up with walter today and walter is the guy who um is contracted to um is the only contractor that can work here in the rv park to um wash your vehicles so he does excuse me, both cars and RVs and trucks and all that sort of thing. And um, it really goes to show that when you're doing a job like um, washing and polishing vehicles, that your own vehicle, that, I mean, you look at his truck, his truck is immaculate inside and out, and his trailer is immaculate. Um, beautiful, and they don't allow you to use the water here because they don't want you washing your own vehicle. So he comes in, he's got the water on the trailer and containers on the back, and he's got a generator there so he can pump the water through his own water blaster system to clean your vehicles. Um, he's also going to fix my um, my leak over my shower, yay, and my skylight, so he's going to fix that for me too. Um, he's already figured out what needs to be done, and uh, there's some tape stuff up around the thing, and it's looking worn and all that so he's going to rip that up and I already have the corking to go around the um the sealant to go around the top so he's going to um do that for me um but yeah so we're going to book him in next week he stopped by to have a look at sparkles to see what needed doing um and uh he said the oxidation on it is not there is some oxidation on it um but he said it's in really really good condition um and he said you know we could wash it see how it looks and I said no, I'd rather have it washed and polished. I said, we're about to hit a bit, you know, do a big road trip. So I want it looking really good out on the road there. And I also know too that when your car is polished, it kind of helps the windstream a little bit. Some have heard. So we're going to get that done next week, but I have to wait till Saturday because on Saturday, I've got to call up the, um, the automated number for jury service and then punch in my, um, my jury badge number to see if and when I need to show up during the week. And then from there, I can then make the appointment for him to come in and give Sparkles a spit and polish. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, Zephy had a great day today. We had so much fun. She was all about play today. Um, didn't like it when I sat down to work. She would come put her front paws up on my knees. And um, so we went out for, um, we were out for 
probably a couple of hours today when we went down to the office and stuff, just walking around, stopping and talking with people um, and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, she kept trying to jump up on people and people go, oh, this is so cute. Da, da, da. And I said, I'm actually trying to stop her from doing that. Don't encourage her, please. Um, <laughs> but right now she's laying in her crate. Eh, eyes are half open. We may get a third walk in for the day, although she's still got to do her evening walk. So, yes, yeah, she will get a third walk for the day. But she's had lots of playtime. Um, she seems to... She's gotten very good at bringing me that Himalayan stick that I showed you last night and um, dropping it in my hand and having me throw it. And she's quite happy to chase that, bring it back, chase it, bring it back. Um, but any, th any other toy I do that with, she just looks at it and so like, oh, no. Or she'll go and get it and take it somewhere else. But the, the Himalayan stick, she likes to play fetch with that. She likes playing fetch with that with me. Um, and also I've been getting her used, this is her, um, if you look on my Facebook page, you'll see the photo of her wearing this. This is her Thunder shirt, it's the sports edition, so it's lighter than the regular one, and a little cooler as well. Um, and this piece basically goes around her, and tucks under this flap. And then these bits here, <laughs> undo and um, cross underneath her underneath her chin here across the chest and um, when I was putting it on her she was like and she actually got her jaw caught underneath this in an effort to try and bite it off but um, it didn't work and uh, she's sort of like shaking it around and trying to back out of it a little bit but then but then I got her distracted um, with a new toy <gasps> that's what I was supposed to have I knew there was something I'm sitting here and I'm going hang on something is missing from here so I got her this new toy um, and you know how I got her that puzzle one a few um, a few weeks ago where she had to um, slide, a, no, flip open a lid to get to the treats underneath, slide a piece to get to the treats underneath that and then lift the bones off. Well, this one, it's got these pieces that go that, that swing. So she's got these swing pieces and these slide pieces. The slide pieces butt up against the swing piece. Um, and when you open the swing piece, there's a little hole there where you put the treat. But on the piece that butts up against the slide piece, it's like a little pole thing like this with a hole in the top and you drop treats in there. Then after she's, um, the, the idea is that you open the swing piece, you slide the piece along and the treat drops down into the little dish at the bottom there. Uh, it took her six minutes, six minutes <sighs> to, get, to figure it all out. She had all 14 treats out of there in six minutes. I was so like, and, and, at, and at minute four, she kind of like sat down on the floor and just like looked at this thing. And I said, there's more treats in there. And she kind of just sniffed at it. Yep, no, not really interested. And then she got up, sniffed it, and started playing with it again. And less than two minutes later, she had them all out. So it's almost like she gave up, thought about it for a little bit, and then went back to work. Um, but uh, it was fun watching her in six minutes that she got that one. And it's a, it was a level two, which is the same level as the other one. So I'm going to have to see. I'm not sure if three is is the highest one or one's the highest one. So I'll have to go investigate that and get her um, some more puzzles. But she loves doing them. She loves doing them. She likes it when I get them out because she likes when I get them out, it gets the boxes out and I pull it out. And then I start filling it up and she's there. She's like, come on. And she's like sitting there like, moving all around and sits over here, comes around the side, sits over here and like trying to see what I'm doing. I'm here, I'm here, I'm sitting, I'm sitting. Am I doing a good sit? I want my treats for doing a good sit and kind of like whining a little bit. So she gets all excited when she sees them. Um, so it's quite funny, but watching her um, six minutes, it took her to figure this whole thing out. She figured how to flip the side pieces open, get the treat from there. She, and then slide the other piece. She accidentally a couple of times slid the other piece up over the hole where it drops the treat into. Um, and then she had to slide, of course, slide that piece out of the way so she could get to the treat. So that was kind of fun um, watching her figure that one out as to what she did. But she got it all done. And um, But, yeah, so I'm really happy about the Thunder shirt because next time I um, have to leave her in her crate to go shopping or something, I'm also going to try that. But I also it means, too, that um, when we get into areas, if there's thunderstorms, fireworks, that sort of stuff, I know that I can put this on her. It's slightly on the big side for her, but um, she is putting weight on right now, so she is filling out, so it's not going to be long before it. Um, and, of course, it's all adjustable with the Velcro straps, but the Velcro straps are sort of like almost out there. I mean, I, just, I took the measurements, and it said the size, so I got her the size, like I said, but slightly on the big side for her. But... Um, 
she didn't bother about it. She actually wore it for two hours today. So I was very pleased with her. And she wasn't bothering her after she got distracted. And um, she was running around, playing, sleeping, eating, drinking, doing everything as normal. And um, so I just figured I'll leave it on her and see if it bothers her. It didn't bother her. And two hours later, I thought, well, I'll take it off her and um, see how she does. And she kind of, like when I took it off her, she just kind of like sniffed at it and, said it and looked at it a little strange. And um, what's that? what is the pink thing? The pink thing is a thunder shirt. It's sports shirt. If you don't have a look on my Facebook page, you'll see a picture of Zephyr wearing it. It's um, designed to be uh, like a like a um, like a weighted blanket, but it, it wraps the, it wraps the dogs in a thing like a weighted blanket. If you think of how a weighted blanket feels on you when you're sleeping at night or sitting on the couch with it on, how it gives you that comfort, this does the same sort of thing. You can it's a compression um, vest that goes around the dogs to help keep them calm. And um, some dogs have had success with um, with not getting anxious during fireworks, thunderstorms, um, separation anxiety, traveling in a car, all of that sort of thing. So um, I was, I've been trying it on and off vest off on. Um, trying it on and off Zephy over the last, um, how many weeks have I had it now? Three or four weeks that I've had it. Um, and today she wore it for two hours with no problem at all and um, never whined once with it on. And sometimes she'll just be sitting there and just start whining and she never did any of that. So, um, yeah, I was really pleased that that worked so well with her. Um, so, and I got the sport version because the other version, I was reading a lot of things saying that it's um, – that while it works and everything else, it's that the pets were getting hot. It had no ventilation, whereas this is a lighter material, which um, um, is able to allow the airflow through a lot easier as well. Um, so, um, yeah, so Thundershirt, this, this thing's worked really well so far. So it'll be interesting to see when we get into areas where there's loud noises and stuff to see how it works with that. So um, kind of wait, kind of hoping for a thunderstorm to try it out, but I don't want to put it through that. I don't want to put it through that stress at the same time. So <laughs> we shall see. But anyway, that's it from us for today. It's been a busy, busy day. I got proposals out. I got quotes out. Um, I'm working on doing some marketing stuff right now. I was I'm actually sitting in the recliner over there um, with the laptop on my lap, but when I went to put it on for the live, it was very dark and the lighting was all wrong. And I was like, screw it, I'll just come sit at the table like I normally do. <laughs> but um, and then um, and then after I get off this, we'll probably go take our final walk for the night. Although Zephy's sleeping right now in her crate, she's put herself to bed already. And uh, you want to go for a walk, Zephy? Zephy. Not even a flicker. Not even a flicker. She is. Oh, no, the air twitched. <laughs> we got an air twitch. She's she's still in there and she can still hear me. Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, the eyes are open now. She's looking at me. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah? No? No, she's going back to sleep. So I guess that's a no for now, but she'll definitely get a walk in within the next hour. We'll just do um just a short walk so she can do her stuff. But anyway, that's it from me. It's been a busy day. Lots happening, so I'll have to figure out, get somebody in to come in and check out the gas thing as to why it won't, why my cooktop won't turn on. It turned on the other day fine. So I don't know what happened between the other day when I, because um, I used it two days ago, it was fine. So I don't know what happened between then and today to stop it working. So um, I'll lift up the lid, the lid um, under, over the burners and stuff to see if anything's come loose and I can quickly plug it back in. But um, I'll do that in the morning when I'm a little more awake. <laughs> but anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. I'm off to convince a dog that she needs to go for a walk. And then I'm going to get back doing some more marketing stuff because I'm playing part of this bingo game. I have to play this bingo game. It is awesome. It's teaching me how to use a marketing system, which is just really, really cool. Um, so um, um working through the bingo game to learn more about the marketing system. Oh, somebody has emerged from her crate. Hey, sweetie girl. Yeah, just walked off past me. So she's hungry now. Then she'll want to walk. So she'll eat and then we'll go for our walk. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will catch you guys tomorrow. Heck on era. You want to go for a walk?